My name is Dan, and for as long as I can remember, I have been passionate about wildlife, especially reptiles. My family and I moved to Florida four years ago, and that's when I began to explore the world of wildlife photography, focusing especially on the snakes of Florida. I've had some exciting adventures since then and seen some amazing wildlife, but never did I imagine that it would lead me here. I'm headed to Uganda in East Africa to search for some of the most interesting and beautiful venomous snakes on the planet, species I've dreamed about seeing in the wild my entire life. Join me on my trip to Africa with my friend Alex as we search for some of the most incredible wildlife including some of the most amazing venomous snakes in the whole world. Just a quick stop over in Istanbul, Turkey, and then we're off to Uganda. trip in Africa and we're just taking some time to search some of these uh, edge habitats for some different types of snakes, forest cobras, gaboon vipers, things like that. So keep looking and check in if we see something. It's pretty painstakingly slow looking around all these edges and bases of trees but hopefully it'll be a good payoff in the end. We just got to this really sick patch of rainforest habitat and there's rhino vipers here, there's rough scaled bush vipers, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Here's hoping. And what are they called again, Jeff? Uh, white ants. White ants. Lots of protein. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> All right, and Sagu is eating the white ants again, and this time Alex is going to join him. See what Alex thinks. The ten million dollar question. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Does it taste like? It doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't taste like anything. Day one got off to a pretty rough start. We didn't see any snakes, although we did get to see a few cool lizards. That was neat and hike in some really awesome rainforest habitat. Well, day two is just getting started. 
We are hiking in some more really great rainforest habitat in a different spot, looking for gaboon vipers and rhinoceros vipers. So here is hoping we will get to find some and you'll see it a little bit later on. Oh, is it a tweak snake? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a forest tweak snake. <laughs> this is a snake you do not want to get bitten by. You see it? Yeah. It's pretty. Look at that thing. Wow. It's basking. It says. When you when you give it time, it it blows. It will give you this. Yeah, the threat display. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Look at that snake. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, there he goes. Look at the threat display. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. So we found this amazing forest vine snake. It's a colubrid, but it's a rear fanged, highly venomous colubrid. Probably one of the most toxic snakes in Africa. And their venom is a potent hemotoxin that causes massive internal bleeding. And there's no anti-venom for this snake at all. And they've got this amazing threat display. They blow up their necks really big and expose those bright colors uh, on the skin between their scales. But when they're not doing that, Man, their camouflage is incredible. So, Alex is gonna see if he can get him to puff his neck out real quick. There he goes. Look at that. Incredible. His red, red tongue, too. Absolutely incredible. Amazing find. A little bit of a different habitat we're hiking through right now. Bit of a open eucalyptus grove. Just trying to see what we can find. And Sagu just showed up with this huge forest cobra. Wow, look at the size of that thing. That's incredible. Let's see his face. Wow. Forest cobra. What would you say, six feet long? Six feet? Trying to wrangle this forest cobra and get him to sit still a little bit so we can get some pictures. Look at that thing. Wow. All right guys, so what we have here is a forest cobra. This is one of the largest cobras in the world. It's a native here in uh, many different parts of Africa. And as their name suggests, they're often found in and around forest habitats. And these guys are um, highly venomous. They have an extremely neurotoxic venom. Uh, you definitely do not want to get bitten by one of these guys. And as you can see, he's hooding up. He's spreading uh, the ribs in his neck. He has the ability to do that, like all cobras, to make his head appear bigger and more dangerous. Um, he's not trying to bite at all. He's just warning us not to come any closer. Um, and that's pretty typical of most snakes.